Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Great. Milestone. I have a question for you. How many of us achieved milestone in their life? Maybe in personal life or in professional life? Can I see some hands? Great, great. But for them who forget that or who don't remember the milestone they have achieved, I will remind them. When we were born, when we were toddler, I believe we learned walking. That was our first milestone, guys. After that, we started speaking first time. That was our another milestone. Then we had a schooling. We completed our college. And some of us may have got their dream job. That was another milestone. So knowingly or unknowingly, we have achieved our, our milestones. And what do we do when we achieve milestones? What do we do? We celebrate. And that's why we are here to celebrate our club's milestone. My name is Nilesh Bhalchim, Sergeant at Arms of our today's meeting. And I welcome you all to our 400th meeting of Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest. It's a great achievement. Okay. Now, everybody has a mission in their personal life. They want to achieve something. Likewise, for our club, we have a mission. We have a mission and that mission says, Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest provides supportive and positive learning experience so that members can empower, develop their communication and leadership skills, resulting into greater confidence and personal growth. Now, as we start, there are some basic rules. First rule is our best friend, our mobile. Please switch it off or keep it on silent mode. I will give you five seconds for that. Done? Great. For the people who are on virtual mode, please keep your cameras on throughout the meeting unless you have issue with the bandwidth. Please keep your micro, microphone on mute unless instructed by the TMOD. Now, please refrain movements so that, so that speaker can distract. Lastly, I would request everybody to smile throughout the meeting. Now, when we greet someone, we have a protocol. Or when we start speaking, we have a protocol. We have to start presiding officer, area directors, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. When someone is using word of the day and phrase of the day, we have to make sure we are giving thumbs up. For the people who are on virtual mode, you can use emojis thumbs up. Now, I would like to ask if we have any guests for our today's meeting. Can you please raise your hands? Great. Okay. Uh, from virtual mode as well, if we have guests, I would just request each one of you to tell your names. We can start with offline mode. Yes. You can speak from there. Abhishek. Okay. Next. Mansi. Okay. Great. Name. Great. Anyone? Anyone else from the offline mode? Okay. Yes, please. Great. 
Okay, great. Yes. Your good name. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes, my name. Yes, my name. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, great. Anyone from the online board, please? Do we have any guests? Hello? Do we have any guests on the online board? Yes. No. Yes. Hello. Yes, please. Hello? <laughs> Uh, I'm Toastmaster Vinayak. I I am I'm a club member of a Pimpri Toastmaster Club. I come to know about your meeting, so I joined here. Okay, great. Anyone else? Okay. Yes. So, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I am Dilip Nayak, and uh, I was part of the Toastmaster Club of Northwest earlier. In 2019, and in 2019, I left. But today, I joined to see the uh, 400th meeting. Great, great. Okay, so I welcome all the guests today for this meeting, and I'm, I will make sure that we all enjoy this meeting. Okay, now it's the time to introduce our Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster of the day is someone who is the host for this meeting. He loves cricket and he loves music as well. Please welcome Toastmaster Anish. A very good morning to all of you. Can't hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, yes, that's more like it. A very good morning to all the people attending the meeting online as well. The, Mr. President, area directors, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. January 1st, 2015 was the day our club was chartered. From that day until now on, we have completed more than seven years. And today, we have all gathered for our 400 milestone meeting. So today's meeting is a proof, is a proof of our members that our members have dedication, have worked hard and are committed to our club. We, we have reached a long way, but that's just a start. We have a longer, longer way to go ahead. So let me tell you one very interesting quote by Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela said, Remember to celebrate milestones as you prepare for the road ahead. What a beautiful quote, right? And so relevant for our today's meeting. Today we have gathered to celebrate this. And what is the best way to celebrate any meeting or any occasion? Well, there are multiple ways. One of that ways can be reminiscing memories. So our today's theme is reminiscing memories. Let me tell you a very interesting story about a tech giant. He was a college student, a middle class student. He was studying in college. A few months down the line in college, he realized that this course is not really adding any value to him. And then he looked at his parents' condition and his parents were also not able to afford his education. So he decided to drop his education. Why? Because it was not adding any value. And he decided to pursue his interest. One of his interests was calligraphy. He went on to take some calligraphy classes. Then he learned Latin calligraphy, Japanese calligraphy, Chinese calligraphy. He was fascinated by the way letters and fonts are presented, the spacing between them, and how artistic a handwriting can look. He was blown away by it. He took that course. While he took that course, he had no idea that if this course is going to add any value to him. Fast forward 10 years, he, along with his partner, Steve Wozniak, they were in a bit of a trouble. They were thinking what they can do to make their new product, that was Macintosh, look different, stand out from all the other products available over there. Honestly, that time there were there were no any 
products who were competing with them. So they decided to lean on to this calligraphy lessons. So because they, because Steve Jobs had taken that calligraphy lesson, he could see the importance of spacing. He could see the importance of presenting something really well. Had he not taken that, had he not remembered about it, had he not reminiscent the fact that he had taken a course, he probably, we probably wouldn't have had such a beautiful OS, such a beautiful way of presenting and typing things. The typography which Apple introduced was later copied by Apple. So we can, it's safe to say that we wouldn't have computers the way they look today. So what do we get from this one story? Well, the key takeaway is it's important to reminisce our past. As Steve Jobs says, you can't connect the dots looking forward. To connect the dots, you have to look behind. So let's look behind and reminisce our memories we have with this club. So for the benefit of our guest, now I'm going to describe you the program. Throughout the program, we will be reminiscing our fond memories with the club and we will celebrate. The program is divided into two sections. The first section is the prepared speech section and the second section is impromptu section. In the first session, our fellow Toastmasters they will be preparing speeches based on their project, based on their objectives, and based on their pathways. And those speakers, they will be coming here and they'll be giving and delivering those speeches. To evaluate those, we have seasoned Toastmasters who will be evaluating based on project objectives of that Toastmaster, how those speeches went. Second session is about impromptu speaking, wherein everyone from the audience will get a chance to come here and participate in the meeting. More about that when the session starts. Now, it's, it's time for our club president. Let's hear a few words from him. Before I introduce him, let me tell you something about him. He is an engineer by profession. He likes coding, reading, and swimming. And 100 weeks ago, he was part of 300 meeting of Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest. There, he played the role of timer. And today, in the 400 meeting, he is playing the role of presiding officer. Let's give a big round of applause and welcome our president, Toastmaster Abhishek. Thank you so much for the warm welcome today. Good morning, everyone. Honorable dignitaries, CGD, Distinguished Toastmaster Milin, and our dear Toastmasters and dearest of all guests. 400 milestone meeting. What an achievement that we are celebrating today. 400 milestone meeting. But why it is an achievement? If we continue meeting weeks after weeks, we'll be definitely at the 400 meeting. So why we are celebrating it today? I can remember when I newly joined the club, I was listening to one of our leaders. I cannot recall his name or the occasion, but I can still remember his message. He said that a member can stay with Toastmasters for life or take break, but Toastmasters and his learning never leave that person. Once you are a Toastmasters, you know that you can break out of your comfort zone and you can improve yourself. This will push you to be better, to be more capable. It is not just about number of meetings that we have. It is about number of people we have helped in the Toastmasters community. And also about how much we have helped them. Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest is known for its quality meeting and the membership at the same time is education. For the last 400 meetings and for years, we have had thousands of people to be better, to be more capable. And we know that one capable person can help many, both in their professional and personal life. That means this club has helped thousands, even lots of people. And I believe that that is an achievement to celebrate today. Also, in this club, we have members who have been Toastmasters for years. And we have members who have joined Toastmasters weeks ago. This blend creates a perfect diversity with a new member pushing their limits and senior member helping them and pushing themselves even higher. Our club member hone their leadership skills by taking responsibility in club and in district level as well. 
our club was born in 2015 and after that it has chartered four three different club on 2016 it chartered toastmasters club uh, barnet toastmasters club on 2018 it chartered watercut toastmasters club and 2017 it chartered pimpri toastmasters club barnet toastmasters club later went on to charter on toastmasters club our club has also pushes limit about to the achieve achievement our club has received many felicitation and awards for example the president district club award and prestigious diamond club award i give credit to two reason for its success first is the culture on the basic framework of toastmaster each term our leader have added something new some new ideas to make learning smoother those ideas has been carry forwarded this mindset that learning the process has been carry forwarded and it has created a culture once you start taking action you get drawn to that culture and in no time you will find yourself willing to take more responsibility push yourself but i believe that there is one more result that is even more significant this club has never shy away from taking challenges it has always set big goals and when we have big goals the action becomes even bigger and again it has never shy away from taking action dream big start small but grow fast and this is the reason why we have break all the barrier and we have grown as a club and i say thank you to all our charter member our past member in fact present leaders who are helping the club and who have created this culture of setting higher goal and targeting towards excellence this is the reason why even every club member get inspired to set higher goal and achieving excellence as well this is an achievement that we are celebrating today i also thank our toastmaster international and the district for helping each club and also our members to set goal and setting the learning pathway well in this occasion we have one of our district official distinguished toastmaster milin he is the club board director for district 125 and uh, it is proud to say that he is with us in today's meeting even being in the different time zone so let us hear from distinguished toastmaster milin Sir, the stage is yours. Uh, good. I think it's good evening, right? So good evening or oh, morning? Oh, sorry, good morning, uh, Mr. President Abhishek. Uh, good morning, all the ex-com members, Toastmaster of the day, district officers, distinguished Toastmasters, past district officers, who are all present here today. A few minutes back, when the sergeant at arms started asking a question. as to in the online mode uh, are there any guests so i was in a half a mind to raise my hand saying that i am not a member of this club and therefore i think i should raise my hand but believe me something held me back because over the last i would say 15 months in the time i became a division director i have become so close with northwest club i have attended several of your meetings i have taken some sessions that i feel that i am very much a part of northwest club and that was the reason why i didn't raise my hand there is another reason why i have come here today although you know like you said i am in usa right now and it's a little inconvenient i am at somebody's house and you know to attend a meeting because i think i owe something to northwest this is a club where i think i came for your 350th meeting and then you know like your abhishek just now said your club has won so many accolades over the period but i had requested one thing to your club and that that one request of mine has been more than fulfilled by your club during this year and that's the reason why i specifically came because i said that i thought it's important for me to acknowledge what you have done and how you have met my request If some of you may remember, I had requested about a year back when for the 350th meeting that look Northwest Club should now start leading the district, and today I am very happy to say that I have we have got at least four leaders who have taken up district leader positions during this year. I mean, I I, I may be going a little wrong with my arithmetic because I don't have my diary, but I know for sure that we have Jay Singh from this club. we have venkatesh from this club we have distinguished toastmaster meenal 
we had Chandrasekhar Mankar. All of you have taken some leadership positions in the district. And that is really very, very admirable. And I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Because how else can we make a new district strong if we don't draw upon the strengths of our clubs? And Northwest has really stood up to that challenge. And I'm very happy. I, have I missed somebody, Venkatesh? Is there anybody else also as district officer? You yourself, Jai Singh, Ankur, Neenal? Ankur Bhargav. Ankur Bhargav. Oh, yeah. Ankur Bhargav. Ankur, Bhargav. Ankur Bhargav. Yes, yes. Ankur Bhargav is also there. So I think if you really calculate the per club, you know, per capita density of district officers, probably Northwest will uh, be very, very high in that uh, score. So thank you very much, Northwest, because you have not just looked at your own club, but you have now gone beyond and you have started contributing to the district. And that is what a real leader is all about. You know, what is a real leader? As Maxwell said, that you know, a real leader is the one who creates more leaders. And like I just now heard uh, Abhishek talking, that this one club, and I think it was probably distinguished to us, must have been known, and we have our past district governor, Prasad Soni Sahib here. I think these were the two gentlemen that probably started Northwest Club. I don't know, maybe about five years, seven years back or eight years back. But Northwest Club just didn't stop at that. They spawned more clubs. So a true leader is a leader, is a person who creates not more followers, but who creates more leaders. And look at what Northwest has done. Those four clubs or five clubs which were born because of Northwest, whether it is Wakard, whether it is Pimpri, whether it is Baner, which then in turn gave birth to Aund. Today, each of these clubs are either a select distinguished or a president distinguished club. So your one club has created four more leaders. And this is exactly the hallmark of true leader. And this is exactly why I come here today. I wanted to thank all of you from the bottom of your heart for the wonderful contribution that you have done. And I would also request you, you know, of course, we should want, you know, like the theme of today is to remain in the past. Fair enough. But don't do that too much. Forget that you are 400 years old or 400 weeks old. Forget that. Okay? Take a fresh guard like Rahul Dravid does. You know, every time he used to score a century, he used to take a fresh guard and start again. Same way, Northwest, please take a fresh guard. Okay? Forget those 400 years. Of course, you have done great. Start fresh. Become even more stronger. Create more leaders. Give more leaders to the district. The district needs your help. We need mentors. We need sponsors. You know, we have, we have an ambitious target of chartering at least 20 clubs during this year. 20 clubs would require 40 mentors. 20 clubs would require 40 sponsors. We have about 10 to 15 clubs which require coaches. We need your help to give us those resources so that together this District 125, which has been born just about a couple of months back, becomes one of the strongest districts in India and then even beyond the world. You know, I was in Nashville at the International Convention and I was very proud to tell that, you know, we are a district born just about two months back. And I was very happy to see that people like Prasad Soni are fondly remembered by, me, by people even in the International Convention. So many people asked me about him, how he's doing. So, and I convert that to distinguished Toastmaster Prasad Soni also. So let us become a district, what which we are all are proud about. Let us become a district, which, you know, this gentleman Prasad Soni started about seven years back, 15 years back, that movement in Pune. Let us, you know, give that uh, movement of his, the real, you know, the real thrust and make this district one of the strongest districts in India. So with these few words, thank you very much for inviting me. As I said, I'm at somebody's house. There is a dinner going on outside. So it would look a little not too appropriate for me to stay away from that dinner. So, but I thought I certainly should come for first 15, 20 minutes. So I will stay back for another five minutes, uh, Mr. President Abhishek. And then I may leave the meeting. Wish you the very best for all that you have done. And that all that you are definitely, definitely going to do in future. Thank you very much. And back to you, Mr. President. Thank you so much, Distinguished Toastmaster Milling. This is really inspiring word and uh, it inspired all of us. And definitely we will work hard to make more leaders in club level and area levels as well. Thank you so much. And uh, with that note, we have one of our charter member of Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest, Distinguished Toastmaster Vinod. I will request Distinguished Toastmaster Vinod to say a few words. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर प्रेसिडेंट फॉर गिविंग मी अ चांस एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक इन द ग्रेट माइलस्टोन फोर हंड्रेड माइल स्टोन मीटिंग ऑफ टोस्मा सर्कलब ऑफ पुणे नॉर्थ वेस्ट दिस इज दिस इज आई एम अ चार्टर्ड मेंबर एंड वी हैव मेनी डिस्टिंग्विश गेस्ट सो इट्स माई ड्यूटी टू एड्रेस एवरी वन प्रेजेंट हेयर सो मिस्टर प्रेजिडेंट क्लब ग्रोथ डायरेक्टर डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टोर्स मास्टर मिस्टर मिलिन डिविजन डायरेक्टर वी हैव डिविजन डायरेक्टर डिविजन डी डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टोर्स मास्टर आदित्य वी हैव फाउंडर मेंबर ऑफ फाउंडर लीडर ऑफ टोर्स मास्टर क्लब इन पुणे हु सेट द स्टेज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स अगो डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टोर्स मास्टर ही इज अ फाइव टाइम डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टोर्स मास्टर एंड स्टिल काउंटिंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टोर्स मास्टर प्रसाद सोनी we have distinguished stores master nagapan palidnepan uh, we have area director as we said uh, venkatesh prabhu gangkar jay singh ankur bhargava and we have many past leaders also we have past distinct director who is attending physically meeting in classroom uh, uh, area past area director amol mali and there are so many district officers past and present and club members uh, very good morning to all of you it's a indeed pleasure for me to address uh, in the special day as a sergeant adam already uh, informed us that uh, this chartered club was uh, chartered in the for first january 2015 i'll give credit to three people uh, why i am here number one toast master nagarpan palni apan to whom a very first call i asked him whether i can join a toast master club whether i will be selected he said don't worry you come as a guest and you will be always member uh, in toast master club so i will give credit to uh, nagamal palliyapan the second credit i will go to uh, distinguished toast master prasad soni who encouraged me to become a leader to become take a role in the exco members right as soon as it was chartered and he gave responsibility to toastmaster amol mali who is available in the present he asked me you know would you like to take a treasurer's role we are chartering a new club in south of pimple sodagar one question i asked him how much time i have to give every day he said 15 minutes i took the role became the treasurer then vp membership then president but still i am asking him you said 15 minutes daily but i am giving only 15 minutes to my family rest of the time i am giving to toast masters so he asked you didn't ask me to whom so this is a platform for all of us who are encouraged and uh, who always busy in the toast masters and i had uh, extended families among you so now why this club is, has got many history as see our club guru director already said that there are so many district officers uh, ankur bhargava venkatesh prabhu gaonkar district store for minal jay singh is there and uh, uh, many many district officer chandrashekhar is there what i want to add in this that current district officer from the district 125 is also from this club when it was uh, she was the member of seema rani is a member of was member of toast master club of pune north west so we are proud and this club has made a history in this year like uh, 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 abhishek said that quantity is a not important what is important is the quality now quality to make a club very energetic to make a surrounding energetic in ambambe it doesn't matter how many members are joining what it matters you join you perform your duties whenever you take your role compare your role with the another <coughs> uh, another another uh, role taken by the earlier meeting so there is no comparison with others you compare with yourself whether i performed well whether i took a speech slot whether i delivered a speech whether i delivered a perfectly so if not there are always another chances so this is my suggestion to everybody and we all are proud members of this club and we will be always proud member of this club thank you very much for giving me opportunity mr president over to you thank you very much 
Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Vinod. And in fact, thank you everyone who helped to charter this club and make this club uh, more successful. Also, the district more successful. Thank you so much. And it's great to know uh, a lot about our club and its history. Thank you so much. We have right now the division director for Division C, uh, distinguished Toastmaster Aditya. I would like to call him on the stage and uh, request him to say a few words. Right. Good morning, everyone. I know it's a Sunday, but still you need to have your energies as high as possible. Good morning. Good morning. I think CGD Milind and DTM Vinod have very nicely summed up everything about how good this club has done. But I'll just share. I was in a call with CGD Milind a few days back, I think two days back, and we were on the dashboard. We were discussing various things. I do not know if the statistics holds true as of now, at least two days back, TMCP Northwest had the highest GCP points in the entire district, which stands at six out of 10. Six, am I right? Or is it now more than six? Okay, it's six. I'm sure it'll be 10 very soon. But that is the power of this club. We haven't even completed two months, just a month and a half, and we already are at six. That's a testimony of how good this club is doing. The testimony of how this club will perform even in the future. And as mentioned, this club has a history and also this Toastmasters year has produced leaders. And as mentioned, a good leader is one who is able to form or help charter or mentor new leaders. So CGD Milan had given or asked for a promise from this club last year. So I'll ask one this time is whatever you have achieved till now, now that should be your baseline. You should strive to aim higher to maybe have even more leaders next year, have something wherein you contribute to the district significantly. This is the first year of the new district, District 125. And the foundation that we laid this year is what will be carried forward. So it's a responsibility. One must realize it's a very big responsibility. And I'm sure TMCP Northwest is going to lead that entire initiative. And it's going to be a club, it's going to be at the forefront with regards to all other clubs as well. So congratulations to all of you. 400 is a very, very big number, 400 weeks gone by. And I, I'm sure this is just the beginning and you will achieve a lot more, a lot more in the coming weeks, months, years. So congratulations and I wish all of you the very, very best of luck. Over to you, Mr. President. Thank you so much for the warm words and we'll definitely work a lot on this and uh, club will grow. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Uh, thank you, Abhishek. Now I would like to call upon our uh, VP education. Since our president is attending uh, the meeting online, we'll call upon our VP education to felicitate our guest, uh, distinguished Toastmaster Aditya. Like, wow, what a wonderful way to start the meeting, right? From listening from the legends, from the vet veterinary people who have been here with the club, who were there since the club was founded and who have seen the club grow. Now it's our time to take the club forward and we'll start by taking the meeting forward. So for today's meeting, let me introduce you all to the role players. Like we have evaluators for our every speech, we have a general evaluator who evaluates the entire meeting. Our today's general evaluator is someone who is a student. He likes playing, he likes playing cricket and football. He likes listening to music and he is uh, very, uh, he's a big fan of tropical music. Let's give a big round of applause and welcome our general evaluator for the day, Toastmaster Tej Sharma. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, Tej, we can hear you. 
Yes. So I, I'll be the general director for this meeting, and I will note down the uh, how, how the environment was for of the meeting. And now I would like to introduce the TAT team. For the uh, for the grammarian's role, we have Toastmaster Mayuris. He he is he is his profession is QA lead lead, and his hobbies are running marathons, cycling, trekking, playing guitar, and reading. Let us welcome uh, Toastmaster Mayuris to in, introduce the word of the day and idiom of the day. So good morning, Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest, and welcome to the fourth 400 chapter meeting. I am Mayuresh Ahir Rao, Toastmaster Mayuresh, who is going to be the grammarian of the day. I am going to record the good usage of the English language and also the poor usage. But for the time being, I am going to introduce the word of the day and phrase of the day. So, keeping with the theme of the meeting, the word of the day is reminis. It is R E M I N I S. Reminis. It is the pronunciation. And its meaning is to talk or write about past experience which we, you remember with pleasure. And for example, I would like to say it's always present, it's always pleasant to reminisce about our college time. Or the second example would be my grandfather used to reminisce about his childhood days and tell us awesome stories of that time. Now I'll introduce the phrase of the day and then request everybody to use the word of the day and phrase of the day in their sentences. So the phrase of the day is, is it ringing any bell? Yes, that is the phrase of the day. Ring a bell. And the phrase, the meaning of this phrase is, when something sounds familiar to you, but you cannot ex exactly remember what it is going to be. So you say that uh, it is ringing a bell. And just example, the place definitely rang a bell. But I couldn't remember exactly where it was. It might be anything, a famous tourist spot, your famous restaurant, any famous dish. It rang a bell, but you don't remember exactly. So this is our phrase of the day. The second example would be the old time, the old timers can may not ring a bell to the new generation. But there was first time that Shahid Kapoor was seen acting in the old time companion ad. So this is second example. Now is there anybody who would like to use the word of the day and or phrase of the day in their sentences? Yeah, please. Uh, your name? Abhishek. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Abhishek. Uh, when I ask my father, to, uh, when I ask my father to rem reminisce about the time when I stood first in relays, relay race, uh, he said uh, it doesn't ring a bell to me. Awesome. That's an awesome example, Abhishek. Uh, I think Ashutosh was volunteering, so please come, Ashutosh. Toastmaster Ashutosh. So the kind of efforts that the XCOM members has taken to make this 400 meeting successful, especially in my youth, is something that I'm going to reminisce in the years to come. Uh, thank you. Is there anyone in online mode who would like to use the word of the day and phrase of the day? Okay. Uh, anybody else in offline mode? Yes, please come. Uh, your name? Sora. Yeah. Welcome to Toastmaster Sora. Thank you. I'm Toastmaster Sora. So, uh, as they say, history repeats for itself. So, keep reminiscing your past experience experiences because maybe sooner or later you may experience a deja vu. Thank you, Toastmaster Saurabh. Uh, yes, uh, Toastmaster Ramchandra. Okay, sorry, Rohan. <laughs> My mistake. Yeah. It's a common mistake between us. When we friends meet together, we reminisce our childhood memories. Thank you, Toastmaster Rohan. Okay, so that's for the word of the day and phrase of the day. Now I would like to hand over the control back to our general evaluator, Toastmaster Tej. Thank you very much. 
thank you tosh thank you tosh master now i would like to invite the our counter tosh master rohan he is a sales manager and he loves to read travel and his favorite cricket player is sachin tendulkar over to you tosh master rohan good morning president fellow toastmasters area directors district directors and dear guest i am rohan today i am playing our counters role the role of our counter is to note the overused words and filler and filler sounds which are used crutch by uh, anyone speaking during the meeting thank you now i would like to invite our timer toastmaster tulsi over to you toastmaster tulsi good morning presiding officer area director fellow toastmasters and dear guests my name is tulsi and i am playing the timer role to help me to do this i have three cards green card yellow card and red card when the speaker hits target time uh, qualifying time i will raise green card target when the speaker is target time i will raise uh, i will raise yellow card and when the speaker reaches Uh, maximum allotted time i will raise red card for the speakers it should be 5 to 6 7 minute of length at 5 minute i will raise green card 6 minute i will raise yellow card and at 7 minute i will raise yellow card in the red card for the table topic masters it should be 2 minute of length at 1 uh, minute i will raise green card 1 minute 30 second i will raise yellow card and at Two minutes. I will raise red card. A thirty second of grace period will be given to wrap up your speech. And for evaluation section, it should be two to three minutes of length. At two minutes, I will raise green card. Two minute thirty second, I will raise yellow card. And at three minute, I will raise red card. I will present my report at the end of the meeting. Back to you, general evaluator. Thank you. thank you to swasthya tulsi for explaining the role of the timer i would like i would now hand over the stage to the tmod thank thank you tej can you confirm if you can hear me uh, yes and uh, I, yeah. we need to uh, follow the agenda because uh actually at 1116 it was prasad sir's speech so yes yes we are uh, now i will like to give the control back to our president we have amongst us a uh, distinguished toastmaster prasad for this address i'll pass on the control to our presiding officer toastmaster abhishek over to you toastmaster abhishek uh thank you so much toastmaster of the day so in this special occasion we have our keynote speaker as distinguished toastmaster prasad let me tell you something about him he is actually someone who is the founder for toastmaster movement in pune and in maharashtra he served as district governor for district 41 which covered 89% of india and he has been a member for nearly 28 years he has also got distinguished uh, toastmaster award for five times let us welcome with a big round of applause distinguished toastmaster prasad sohni am i audible yes yes, yes you are yeah. hello everyone am i audible yes yes, yes you are audible yeah. so good morning friends if i were to, yeah. if i were to take names of all the dignitaries present in the hall and online it won't suffice 
the, the time that is allocated to me. So what I would do is I'll just say greetings to all the current and past leaders of the club as well as past and current leaders of the district. When we formed Toastmasters Club of Pune way back in 2007, we always thought that we should split this and form more clubs. That way, the new clubs get 20 members for charter and they are trained. So for each new club we form, for example, Toastmasters Club of Pune West in Kothrud, Toastmasters Club of Pune Central in SP College, Toastmasters Club of Pune Southeast in Magarpatta and so on, we gave two, three dedicated leaders who had served in the executive committee of Toastmasters Club of Pune. We gave two, three leaders who were already CCs so that they could complete AC. And we gave two, three speakers who have completed two, three, five speeches so that they could complete CC in the coming year. And the club can become distinguished right in the first year. While almost all the clubs have done well and gone on to become distinguished right from the year first, the year, year number one. The other promise that we had taken from them was that they should strive to create more clubs in similar manner. And they all were expected to split and form a new club after three or four years of charter. But if you look at the list today, neither PMCP West nor Southeast nor Central have formed any new club. The one exception is that of Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest, which has gone on to create four more clubs, three directly and one grandchild. So Toastmasters Club of Pune gave birth to 10 clubs. Only one child out of that has gone on to give three more children and one grandchild. So we have become great grandfather because of only your club. So I would like to applaud the leadership for really taking the agenda of Toastmasters movement in Pune further because of your leadership. Let us give us a round of applause to all the leaders of this club. We followed that really well by creating new clubs such as Baner, Aund, Wakard, Pimpri, and so on, which gave leaders to the district as well. We have seen that we have had area and division directors from these clubs, which served the district. And currently, as you said, uh, somebody pointed out, Seema Rani is also a part, uh, rather past member of this club and current member of, I think, Barney Toastmasters Club. And several area and division directors and governors have been members of this club. So your job as creating leaders has been excellent. So I would like to applaud whoever was responsible for that. The names that I remember were Charter President Mohit Garg, the one who succeeded him was Surbhi Shivastav, Amol Mali, Vinod Sharma. I remember these few leaders because as founders, we used to attend meetings of your club once uh, the first few months were over, alternate or something like that. So what we did was for each of the new clubs that we chartered, we tried to attend first few meetings entirely. So all the meetings in the first two, three months. Then we tried to attend half the meetings. So as to see whether the club can sustain even when we are not there. So we attended alternate meetings. Then we attended one in three, one in four, and so on. And we went on reducing our importance from the meetings so that the club can sustain on its own. And your club really did well on all these counts. But now, okay, one more thing I would like all of you to do is go to your Excel sheets and type the dates, 1st January 2015. and type today's date and take the, check the difference. You would be seeing a number close to 400. So you have had meetings almost every week. 399 point something was the answer that I got. You might have missed one or two meetings, but those are accounted because we earlier started each club by maybe a month actual charter date. So all your, uh, the, though your club was chartered on 1st of January, 2015, the first meeting, uh, can somebody mute that person? Okay, though your club was chart chartered in January, we had first few meetings in November and December, maybe two, three meetings happened before first Jan, and then the club was actually chartered. So we have done well by not skipping meetings at all as well. So while you have done well on these counts, on the threshold of the fifth centennial that you are entering, and 
in two years time you would have 500 meeting what are the goals or targets that one can set for your club to make sure that you are a strong club on your 500 meeting i would like to recommend a few one is the involvement of all so i saw the agenda i saw the name of toastmaster of the day 11 times on the agenda so maybe it, it might be a good idea to have the name a few times just because he comes back on the stage again and again but there are some events for example one games you can give that to somebody else the second thing is quality of the meeting by following the agenda so if you have planned somebody's speech at a particular time that should be followed so this involves more people in creating the agenda and once that agenda is created everyone is aware of that and then that is followed to the dot some of you might remember that there was a member from our club called abana rao her father was a member of a club in new york and he had then attended a meeting of toastmasters club of pune in 2014 when people like vinod sharma hello i think some technical glitch Rao's father was the Toastmaster in New York and he had attended a meeting in 2013-14 when we had members such as DTM Nagappan, and DTM Vinod Sharma in our club. And he said while the club in New York also starts the meetings on time, which was common for Toastmasters Club of Pune and the club in New York, he said even the club in New York doesn't run the agenda the way it is run in TMCP, minute to minute agenda. So if you have slated somebody to speak at, let's say, 5.07, that person is on the stage at 5.07. If you have slated somebody to speak at 5.43, that person is on the stage at 5.43. So he said it is very difficult to follow that. And your club does that extremely well. And your meetings also end around the time that is stipulated. So this is one challenge I would like to give your club. Because today I was slated to speak at 11.16. And I'm on stage at 11.45. Five or eleven fifty, I think. So, if somebody had created the agenda, that should have been shared with the president and the Toastmaster of the day, and all of them should have been aware of who all are the dignitaries going to who are going to be present, and then that is time spot that should have been created for everyone. So, if Lillian was, to, if CJD Melin, Division Director Aditya. They all were going to be present and they should have been included in the agenda. There should have been time allocated to their speeches as well. So that is one challenge I would like to give that in terms of quality, that the meeting should run minute to minute and everything should be pre-planned. It cannot be haphazardly, suddenly five speakers are included in the agenda. If they are not on the agenda, it shouldn't be that way. Okay, So that is one challenge I would like to give. The second challenge I would like to give is uh, because of recent interaction, I had with one of your former members. I was attending the training for treasurers at district sponsored club officers training program in which your former member, Hemant Arora, told that he was a signatory of your club's account and he has even left the club and he has left Toastmasters and still he continues to be a signatory. So as per the bylaws and constitution, it is not allowed for him to be a signatory. So I asked him, why are you continuing? And he said, because the club doesn't allow me to leave as signatory. So you should make sure that you don't do such a thing where a non-member or former member or member of another club is your signatory to your bank account. You should leave him, let him go of those responsibilities and you should be able to manage your accounts. If you all are members for many years, you don't need somebody who is not even a member to be the signatory to your account. So you have to change that immediately and the poor guy is suffering because he is not even a member and he has to have responsibility for your club. So please relieve him of this responsibility immediately. Let somebody else take over as signatory of the account so that the club can function well. Otherwise, you have to call him every time and ask about, let's say, we have to do this transaction. We need your signature or your approval online. And when he's not a member, it's unfair to expect him to do all these roles properly. So the second challenge I would like to give you is 
transparency and simplified processes in accounting so that the, uh, this need not wait till 500 meeting this can be done within uh, 400 and first or 400 and second meeting itself so i would like to request your club to expedite this process where former members or non members are not signatories of your account it is against the tradition bylaws and constitution of toastmasters the third thing i would like to suggest to you is that you have created so many clubs you have created good leaders now think of something else can you think of a Hindi club or Marathi club in your neighborhood? I'm sure there are many people who stay in Pimples or Dagar where your club meets would prefer to have something such as a Hindi or Marathi club. We have one Marathi club in Pimples, uh, sorry, Sihagad Road, which is doing reasonably well. We need more to penetrate large markets in India. So if you can think of some or delegate some leaders who can be leaders of that particular club, Marathi Toastmasters Club, as well as Hindi Toastmasters Club in lo your locality, you would do well. We had a Hindi Toastmasters Club in Pune. It did not succeed. One of the reasons for that could be that it was not handled by Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest, which has very large number of capable leaders. So if your club takes up the responsibility of chartering a Hindi club in your neighborhood, I'm sure there are several people who would like to join that club. And if your club takes it as your baby, I'm sure you will run it well because all the clubs that you chartered, such as Aund Baner Wakkad are running well. So even this club, if you form, it should do well. So please take up the challenge of creating a Hindi Toastmasters club. I'm not sure of the profile of people staying in the neighborhood of Pimple Saudagar and uh, Baner, Pasha and Aund Wakkad, Hindavdi and so on. There could be a potential of even a Kannad club, Oriya club, Telugu club, Gujarati club, Bengali club, Punjabi club. But let's start with Marathi and Hindi first. I'm sure there are several people who speak Marathi and Hindi. I don't speak Hindi so well, but I'm very fluent in Marathi as well. So if you start a Marathi club, I could join those meetings for a while in the initial few days and support them. And we know a few good speakers in Toastmasters who speak fluent Marathi. And we could invite them to attend those meetings as well. So if you could start with one club, which is suitable for you, if you start even a Hindi club, I could attend meetings of that and improve my Hindi. So if you think of that multilingual Toastmasters meetings of TMCP Northwest, it could be supported by all Toastmasters from Pune. So just think where you could start, which language you would like to start in and get going and give them four or five of your own members so that the club does well later on. If you do these few things, your club would proudly say that we started something new when we were on the cusp of our 400th birthday. And before our 500th meeting, we have completed these few tasks which were taken as a challenge by our club. And all those could be fulfilled. I am not giving you two tough tasks. These tasks are very easy. When you look, look at next two years, uh, 500 meeting yeah will be after two more years so almost two years so if you look at two years it's not if the, the signatories can be changed within a week so i'm not giving any time frame for that but these two things improving the quality of the meeting and starting marathi and hindi club can take one year plus so maybe two years is a good time for that and i assure you support as well as dtm nagapan here can assure you his support that we will support in both these endeavors for you if you were to improve quality of the meetings and run minute to minute agenda, even your GE here, Tej Sharma, is very good at that. He's currently VP of TMCP. So he knows how to do these things. So he can offer you assistance in running minute to minute agenda. And we could help you in getting members who could be interested in the multilingual club that you might charter. So with these few things, I would like to set these goals for you. Would you like to accept people in the room? Hello, uh, TMCP NW room. Would you like to accept these challenges? Yes, sir. We will accept it, sir, and try to Can't hear you. Club, sir. Definitely. Okay. 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 So I look forward to being present for your 500 milestone meeting. I'm sure it will be in a very large setting. 
नेक्स्ट मंथ वी हैव फिफ्टींथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ टोस्ट मास्टर्स क्लब ऑफ पुणे सो आई एक्सटेंड यू इन्विटेशन फॉर दैट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ माई क्लब एंड विद दैट आई हैंड यू आर बैक टू योर प्रेसिडेंट टोस्ट मास्टर अभिषेक नेगी Uh, thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Prasad, and uh, we will uh, really work on the points that you have suggested. First is improving quality of the meeting and also timing finances, and uh, also uh, try to charter different clubs. And uh, next time when we will visit, it will definitely improve on those aspects as well. Uh, thank you so much for your keynote speech and coming here with us and giving your uh, suggestions and your messages. Thank you so much. Uh, with that, I would like to hand over the stage to our Toastmaster of the day. to proceed the meeting forward thank you toastmaster abhishek now let's start with our first speech to give and deliver this first speech we have someone who is who is engineer by profession a teacher at heart and a magician by passion he likes listening to metal music please give a big round of applause and welcome our first speaker toastmaster chandrashekar before he starts his speech i would like to also introduce to our evaluator of the day his uh, evaluator of speech she is someone who works as a manager at, uh works as a manager and con at content strategy and content strategist at future market insight she enjoys reading cycling playing keyboard dance making handicrafts and a lot of other things please give a big round of applause and welcome evaluator of toastmaster chandra sekhan Distinguished Toastmaster Meenal. Am I audible? Okay. Yes, you are. Our speaker for the day, Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar, a magician by passion, would be spilling his magic wand today in the form of the project number. Three from level three, that is introduction to storytelling from the manual. presentation mastery the purpose statement is for the member to practice using a story within a speech or giving a speech that is a story the timings are time up please note 5 to 7 minutes which means green card at the end of 5 minutes yellow card at the end of 6 minutes red card at the end of 7 minutes and a grace period of 30 seconds would be given that is the overall time could be 7 minutes and 30 seconds so the title of the speech is my family my family Toastmaster Chandra. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I was in the meeting. I was doing the most important thing that I used to do every day, which is sending the messages in the family WhatsApp group. Uh, the question that i want to ask to each one of you are you part of a family whatsapp group can i see a raise of hand well almost all if you are not i will add you to my group don't worry and what's with this all family whatsapp group every day they send the same message every day they send the same message hey chandrashekar stop sending good morning messages man sorry i try to keep in touch grandma this won't happen again you know what i really hate going to this family gatherings and family functions has this ever happened to you that you are a family function you are having your sweet must rasmalai among your friends and a man walks up to you and asks this random question beta job ka kya socha hai has this ever happened to you well congratulation you have already met my dad and has this ever happened to you that you are having your sweet silky and smooth ice cream and a random woman comes up to you and says beta when are you getting married yes please stop asking me this difficult question mom you know what this was the reason i stopped going to any family function or gathering until i heard a beautiful story which changed me completely and today i am going to share that story with you all good afternoon district officials master of ceremony fellow toastmasters and future toastmaster the protagonist of the story is a man 
who just stopped participating in family gatherings and meetings without any prior notice so the days turned into the weeks the weeks turned into the years sorry the months and the months were about to turn into the years until one cold night the leader of the group decided to visit him he went to his place and he looked at his left there was nothing he looked at his right there was no one he looked in the middle and he found the man alone sitting in front of a fireplace with a fire burned bright the man welcomed the leader only the greetings were exchanged the man and the leader sat next to each other the only thing between them was the burning fire around the fireplace very few words has been spoken there was a great calm and silence in the room just like we are having in this room right now after a few minutes the leader decided to do something new he started examining the log which was starting that fire and he selected one of them which was the most glowing of all he picked up a tong and he picked one piece of wood from that fireplace and kept it on side and then he went back and sat again the host the man the protagonist was paying close attention to everything fascinated after few minutes the lone logs fire flame reduced and after some time it went completely vanished few minutes earlier which was burning bright now just has become a dead piece of wood in black color now the leader decided that he is going to leave but before preparing to leave he decided to do one more thing he stood up he went to that piece of wood that he kept on side and then he picked it up and placed in front of that fireplace and within a moment the fire was rekindled in the room but bigger better and brighter after that the leader the leader decided to leave the room he walked he started walking towards the door and suddenly he heard a voice wait the host came up to him and said thank you for visiting and thank you for your beautiful lesson i will return to the group soon beautiful isn't it not my story telling skill but the story itself so why is the group important because whenever someone withdraws away from the group the person takes away the fire and heat from the flame it is important to remind each and every member of the group that they are the reason the fire is burning that bright it is also good to remind each and every one of us that we are together making that fire burn bright this toast master family is also a part of my family and i am blessed enough to be this part of this family it doesn't matter that every day we see so many messages so many quarrels happening and so many misunderstanding what matters the most that we all are connected we all here are to learn to make memories to share memories with each other and most importantly to know that we are not alone here we must reunite among ourselves to keep that fire burning bright strong and long lasting let's make that fire keep and bright over to the master of ceremony thank you toastmaster chandrashekar wow, what a wonderful story felt like i was a child again you guys remember when we used to be child and we used to like listening to stories just felt like in that trance thank you toastmaster chandrashekar we'll pause for a minute and let everyone give feedback to toastmaster chandrashekar people on the online mode can type it in the chat box and people in the offline mode can tell toastmaster chandrashekar right here
Prasanna, Anish, you are not audible. Uh, hello to Swasa Anis, you are not audible. We should, we can't hear what is going on. So, we know, sir, I don't think they can hear us either. Uh, yeah. I don't think we, they can't hear us. We can't hear them. Yeah, that's true. I have a message on it. Maybe if you can call up somebody in the room and inform them. Abhishek, you can call. Uh, this oh, I think okay, they they're saying that message. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. I put a message on the WhatsApp group. Let's see the answer. Hum tab tak table topics kare kya? Who all are there online? Rabin, Rabin Shetty, Division Director. Rabin Shetty, welcome. Good morning. Long time, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you to see you. We are all nice to see you. Club of Pune over here in the meeting. Thank you for joining us. I miss those days. I used to come to your club in the initial days. Yes. That's what Prasad said. We used to go to okay. California, okay. Hotel California, I remember. Yeah, Hotel Hello? California. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Sorry, ho hold on. I think the connection is back. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yes, you're audible now. Oh, it's gone. Okay. okay. This is for the people who are attending offline. One activity include other people as well. Okay, so now we have uh, created pair of two teams. Now, uh, all the teams uh, pairs just stand in front of each other in a straight line. So, it's... okay. Oh, uh, you can uh, stand here this side, and you can stand over this side. Okay. Now, I am going to fall in. I'm going to fall in knees and toes. After I call that, you have to touch your head or knees or toes. And there will be a gift 
let's say a treat that will be kept right over here the first person who is and the spot position yes this is your treat yes not not right now when the game starts yes have to be attentive and also you have to be physically fit everyone is ready head to and knees when i say head you will touch your head when i say knees you will touch your knees when i say toes you will touch your toes okay toes you have to be fast faster than this okay knees toes knees toes knees head head <laughs> head toes knees toes knees 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 toes knees head toes knees head toes ab ise ek your lying back <laughs> head 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 toes knees <laughs> lovely thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for playing this game i have one more game and i need four volunteers now who is ready don't worry you don't have to squat now who is ready who is in who is in yes and anyone else please come over anyone else anyone else ashitosh uh, guest manchi yes it is it's a simple game yes anyone else you can come sir okay you yeah so as a child do you guys did you guys like balloons do you guys like blowing balloons yes okay ashutosh you are going to enjoy this game this next game you have to blow balloon but you have to blow balloons so that you can stack all these glasses together okay so you you can again go ahead and form a pair of two and uh, whoever wins from this this pair will win the game okay so you guys are a pair uh, you will be on this side you will be on the other side you can come over here we have yes one on one yeah you don't have to tie knot this is the balloon i'll explain you the game i feel i have to inflate the balloon then from the balloon i have to yes 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 that's that's the game okay so we have five glasses here we have five glasses over here let me keep this over here yeah okay so the game is you have to take a balloon you have to blow it and like this you have to stack all five glasses so the first one to do that wins so here's a balloon for you there's a balloon for you so we have the first pair uh, did you get a balloon yeah and we have a first the first team are you guys ready mm -hmm. no 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 so after this you will be joining the game and winner from each will play against each other and then there will be one winner up to you up to you whichever side so let's start from this side and end it over here okay so everyone so everyone let's give a big round of applause to them abhishek ashutosh you have to yeah uh, you have to wait before yeah and if at all the glass falls down you have to start again okay okay are you guys ready let's start 1 2 3 go okay okay 
Okay, Ashutosh is on the lead. Okay, you have to start again. Okay, we have a first winner. Yeah. You'll have to wait. It's not that easy. <laughs> thank, thank you so much for playing. Now we have the second team. Again, I'm going to place these glasses. Okay. Participants ready? Okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> you have to start again. Ah, you, you, you cannot touch. And we have Mansi who is on the lead, yes. Thank, thank you so much for playing. Thank you, Mansi. Now we have we have Ashutosh who is winner from the first team and Mansi who's winner from the second team. Now these two will be going against each other. Yes. Are you guys ready? Okay, let, let the game begin. One, two, three, go. Ah, no, no. Close, this is, this is a, this is a, oh. And Manji wins! Congratulations, Manji. You are the winner of second activity. And here they... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, along with bragging rights, you get a chocolate. Thank you so much for playing. Okay, fun activity, right? Fun memories we all have after having these activities. Now let's get back to the meeting. Now I would like to call upon our timer for her report on Toastmaster Chandrasekhar's speech. <laughs> Toastmaster Tulsi. Yes, uh, Chandrasekhar is qualified. He has taken five minutes, 45 seconds. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Tulsi. So, uh, Toastmaster of the day, we have our uh, district officer, district director, Toast DTM Simaran here with us. Let us call our stage. Okay, uh, let me tell you something about her. She is right now serving as the district director for District 125. She has been the past area director, division director, and past PQD. So, the district of Toastmaster Sima, I would love to listen to you from you. Please say a few words. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Abhishek, uh, I'm glad to be here. I think uh, there are hardly any milestone meeting of Toastmaster. Club of Pune Northwest, which I would have missed, you know, if that is the possibility. And DTM, we know the ensure I don't miss any. You know, that's the that's the connection we have. For those who did not know, Toastmaster Club of Pune Northwest is my first club in Pune. I joined, I came back to Pune in 2015. And the first thing I looked out was this Toastmasters Club because I was a Toastmaster in Bangalore where I started my Toastmaster journey. And the first club I attended was Northwest. And uh, anybody who joins Northwest Club for first time as a guest, I don't think they can go anywhere else. They have to join the club immediately. And that what happened with me as well. Within the same week, I joined the club. And I've seen this club going to greater heights in the able hands all the time under the great guidance of all our leaders. 
this club has given so many district leaders has contributed to all the district events and has achieved so many accolades year after year and has set the bar high for every community club to achieve so much all the past district officers from the club all the past presidents and all the excom members of this club has done great every single time they never fail to impress and motivate all the clubs and members in district and with the new district now this year district 125 with a new title i'm sure this club will also contribute and provide new experiments and of course now like we all in hybrid mode i'm sure this is the first time many of you would have attended this meeting in person or in hybrid mode there will be challenges at the club level at the district level and there will be lots of opportunities so my message to this club would be ensure you take advantage of each opportunity in this new district at the same time ensure you overcome the challenge and share your learning with your fellow members and clubs in the district both are equally important please look out for that and uh, our district uh, pr manager is on the call as well i'll just take opportunity to say something which i'm sure he would also uh, encourage everyone to do ensure you look out for district emails district posters district communication in all different modes in social media because our new district is new you may not be in habitual of checking it right the district emails may go to into your spams or in your promotion section wherever but look out for those emails because until you get the information you won't understand the opportunities you have in hand to grow as a member for which you have joined the district which for which you have joined toastmasters itself there are lots of opportunity within the club and outside and you need lots of information and guidance all of them that is available and wherever you see we need to improve we need to change we are waiting for your suggestions and feedback feel free to reach out to me or any of the district officers at any point of time to share your suggestions feedback for us to grow as a member and as well as as a toastmaster as a, as well as as a district with that thank you so much for inviting me to this club and to milestone once again and i'm happy to be here thank you so much abhishek back to you uh thank you so much uh, distinguished toastmaster sima and it is proud to know that you are from this club and you have uh, reached a great height and definitely we work together with the district to uh, achieve more so also i would like to request uh, toastmaster mayank to come on the stage and say a few words thank you toastmaster abhishek negi president toastmasters club of pune northwest congratulations toastmaster club of pune northwest members for the 400th milestone meeting how are you guys feeling everyone is seeing 400 as a digit all throughout the week so this is not an easy milestone and i must commend all members and leaders dtm vinod sharma is here and all all the current and past excom leaders as well madam district director has already mentioned that she has been a member of this august club and many more leaders have come up from toastmasters club of pune northwest who have uh, le led both with title and without title and they have supported the movement this club has been on the forefront of uh, any district endeavor that comes and that is a legacy that leaders have created and that's what all the members of the current and club have a responsibility and ownership to own it and uh, with new district 125 we all have a collective responsibility to grow our district it by you know registering for trainings by participating in all the endeavors the hall of fame awards have been published and i'm sure toastmaster club of pune northwest will again shine madam district director this year has not only you know had the diamond but there is platinum and silver too so inspire all the clubs around to achieve more grow more and let us take district 125 to great heights with clubs like toastmaster club club of pune northwest i'm sure we will achieve the dream of our madam district director to make district 125 a smedley distinguished district back to you president toastmaster abhishek negi thank you so much for inviting uh, me our, our district club newsletter editor is also from the club dtm minal vaishnav sheshkir she has been also inviting many district officers so i acknowledge her presence as well and all the district officers back to you mr president thank you 
Thank you so much uh, for your kind words. And yeah, definitely we'll get to reach our height uh, together. Thank you so much. And uh, with that, now I would like to hand over the stage to our Toastmaster of the day to continue the meeting forward. Okay, Apka. Check. Uh, can you confirm if I'm audible, Toastmaster Abhishek? Uh, yes, you're audible. Okay. Thank you so much. Now we will move on to break. We'll break for three minutes, but don't go anywhere. After break, we have evaluation session. We have table topic session and a fun activity. So please let's gather back after three minutes. Check. Uh, can you guys confirm if you can hear me? Uh, yes, we can hear you. Okay. We have a good uh, forum of people back here. So let's get started with our second session. Okay, okay guys, let's start with our second session. Uh, we'll start off with evaluation. To evaluate our speakers, Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar's speech, we have someone who is a distinguished Toastmaster. We have, I have already introduced her. So I will straight away call upon distinguished Toastmaster Meenal to give her evaluation on Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar's speech. Am I audible? Mayuresh, confirm. <laughs> yeah, I know I will be audible over here. So now coming to our very own magician's speech, Postmaster Chandra Shekhar. The moment we get to know on the agenda that he is going to give the speech, we all are prepared for a treat. And that treat can be in any form. Basically, it's a magical treat. So this time his treat was revolving around the family. That how important is it to join the family group? And if you're not a part of family group, something strange is going to happen to you. So through his story, I would say he had walked us through and even if a person is a sleeping member of the family group, I would say a sleeping partner of the family group, still his presence has to be felt. And when do we feel his presence actually? Those who are super active on the group, when do they feel the presence or when they let others feel the presence? When there are birthdays, anniversaries or any some special days? Because they are the people who actually maintain the family trees and they are the people who wish them without fail. And then the other members get to know, yes, we have this family member as well in the group. And that was a, the brilliant example given by Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar through his story, through the story of the fire and the logs. That, if, that even if you remove a log or you put a log over there, it's going to matter. And what a beautiful way of conveying that story. That he just asked the person at the other end to observe. And the person, mere by observation, he or, got to know what is my importance in the family. At the same time, now we say that everything is good, but everything is not 100% good. So let's point out the glitches. A small glitch that I would like to mention in Sir Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar's speech was that he needed to go hand and people were already prepared that, okay, we are going to get to listen to a story. But the tone that was set was not regarding a story, actually. It was some sort of, uh, it was like ready, steady, and blast. The, it, it started on that note. So story has to be started like this. Once upon a time, something happened. I, I'm not saying you use the word once upon a time. But tone should be set along that line. So that was the only recommendation from my side. Otherwise, he has the habit to keep the audience engaged every time. So audience is always up there for a surprise. What next? What next? And that everyone experienced even today that I'm dead sure of. So this was from my side as an evaluator. I would wish Chandra Shekhar all the best for his next speech. That's over to Toastmaster. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Minal. Now I'd like to call upon our timer for the timer report. Toastmaster Tulsi, over to you. Thank you, TM Modi. Uh, DTM Minal has taken two minutes, 25 seconds. 
Okay, thank you. Now it's time for the exciting session, the session of table topics, the impromptu session. To conduct this session, we have someone who is in an engineering student who likes reading, running, building robots, and tracking. Let's give a big round of applause and welcome our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Nimisha. Uh, am I audible in the online mode? Can someone please confirm? Yes, yes, you're audible and okay. Thank you, our Toastmaster of the day. So the purpose of the table topics is so that we present an opportunity to everyone who's present here in the meeting. And so the speakers can think on their feet and be impromptu. All right. Uh, can you please um, share the screen? A slideshow. Okay, so until then, uh, this is what is going to happen. Uh, I'm going to invite some of the distinguished Toastmasters, Toastmasters guests, and everyone can participate here and present their speeches. Uh, the speaker has one to two minutes to uh, complete their speech, and the timer will give the instructions as follows. Uh, the green card will be flashed at the end of one minute. Uh, the yellow card will be shown at the end of one and a half minutes, and the red card will be shown at the end of two minutes. Plus, the speaker will have a grace period of around 30 seconds to wrap up their uh, speeches. So may I please request volunteers, uh, Toastmasters, uh, or distinguished Toastmasters to please come up on stage for uh, the table topics. Anyone would like to volunteer? Uh, anyone from the online mode or offline mode? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So can we have the next slide? Okay, so here are four pictures uh, that you can see on the screen. Two of them are very related to each other and two of them are completely off the topic. What you have to do is you have to keep these four pictures in mind and prepare a story or anything that comes to your mind, keeping these four pictures and using these four pictures in your app. I have absolutely no idea what is the correlation between these four, but I'll try to speak up individually on every object. So first of all, I will begin with books. Because if you speak about books, you appear as a very intellectual person. That is the reason I'm trying to hold the attention of the audience that I'm an intellectual person. But the thing is that I do not read books. So one topic is out of the picture. Second is I would have loved to speak about Facebook because it is one of the best selling products on this planet. The owner of the company has become a billionaire under 30 and everything about Mark Zuckerberg. I'm talking about Facebook. But the thing is that I'm not even using Facebook very frequently. I only use it when I want to connect with any former col colleague or any friend with whom I have lost the touch. Third is about the birthday celebration. So I do not know much about that because no one celebrates my birthday as well. I have to call up people and tell them that, hey, do you remember it's my birthday? So people tell me, so, okay, what's special in that? Everyone is having lots of birthdays every year. So what is special about that? And the fourth is mark sheet. So definitely I won't want to talk about that because that sends me down a lane of trauma because if I remember my mark sheets, that was very poor during the college days. In school, I was a good student, whether you believe it or not. But during the college, I, do, I completely want to forget what happened with me in the college. I had a degree of 61%. I don't know. When people ask me, oh, you might be smoking a lot. You might be having a lot of girlfriends. Oh, maybe you drank a lot. But let me tell you, none of these three things happened. So even I am wondering, what was I doing in my college? For a feedback, I asked, what is your opinion about my work? He gave me four out of five. So that is what happens. You will be given some pieces that will not make any sense. And ultimately you need to try to make sense out of it. Over to you. Thank you for that wonderful attempt. Okay. In the online mode also someone wants to. Next 
So, Toastmaster Heshma, you have four pictures on your screen. And uh, you, it's the same task that you have to keep these four pictures in mind and use them in your speech. They can either be related, unrelated, or anything of your choice. But you have to use these four pictures. Okay, this is Instagram, this is an island, this is a playground, and this is movies. Over to you, Toastmaster Reshma. Okay, thank you so much, Table Topic Master. So, a very good eve, uh, good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished Toastmasters and guests out here. The online and offline mode. Uh, or everyone out here, I can see over here four different pictures which I could correlate because I'm an Instagram user, a very frequent user. And I believe we all are frequent users of Instagram because nowadays Instagram is trending, especially for those scenic views. As you can see the image on top uh, above the scenic views, which creates a great impact by just putting hashtags. If you can see the three movies out here, the famous movies out here, this creates an impact because when you use certain trending hashtags or those movies which have been, you know, trending and uh, at the box office, right? So that creates more likes. And also uh, the playground, which I believe uh, we as kids going back to our childhood days, we would be uh, like, you know, in these playgrounds, moreover, whereas nowadays the kids would be more on Instagram, right? In reeling, or you could say making videos and clicking scenic views as how we can see in this island. So I would believe uh, Instagram is the new norm. And that is the uh, social best social media strategy, I would say, which most of us are highly active. Let it be kids or let it be people like us or let it be even the actors out there in those uh, three movie blocks. So I would say that, you know, keep using Instagram, keep exploring new things and experimenting new things like how we are doing right now in our 400 milestone meeting. So congratulations once again, team, for this opportunity and also for uh, the milestone being achieved. Thank you so much and over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Reshma. Uh, anyone else who would like to volunteer? Toastmaster Shavan. Yes, Toastmaster. Yeah. Are you there? Uh, yes. Am I audible? So, Toastmaster Shavan, your topic is that if I give you one lakh rupees and today the challenge is that you had to spend it today, what would you buy and where would you spend it or how will you use that one lakh rupee if I gift it to you today? So, over to you, Toastmaster Shavan. Thank you, Toastmaster. Table topics, Toastmaster. Uh, I am Shavan. Uh, I am from uh, TCS Toastmaster, my three Toastmasters Club, Pune. Uh, first of all, I'm, I would like to congratulate all of you uh, for uh, com completing the 400th milestone. In, in this table topic, uh, I got it is uh, if I got a one lakh rupee in a day, how can I spend it? It is very simple. Uh, I will clear all the loans. Uh, and then that's that's uh, that's simple it is. Uh, but if we take it in a different way to uh, or build a story, first of all, I would like to uh, identify. I mean, first of all, I list down all the wish uh, wishes, long pending wishes in my mind, and I note down all those things, and then I'll start spending one by one. That's the another way I'll do that. Uh, and the third thing is, in case if I uh, if there is anybody in need uh, in and around me, and also I can try to uh, help them with that money. So these are all the three possibilities uh, to spend one lakh rupee in a day. Mm, apart from that, uh, I don't think I will use this uh, uh, one lakh in, a, in any other way. Uh, at present, it is in my mind. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. That's it from my end. Over to you, Table Topics Toastmaster. 
All right. So do we have time for one more speaker? Yes. So anyone, anyone else would want to volunteer to come forward? Anyone from the guests would? Yes, please. Okay, so this is my topic, right? Oh, you're not audible. Oh. So what you have to do is you have to uh, think about what is your favorite food. Okay, you don't share it with us right now, but you have to describe that food without taking its name you can use colors or anything that comes to your mind and you ha uh, you have to describe it and ask the audience to guess what that food is let's see how many of us can guess what it is fine hello i'm audible okay good afternoon all so this food has been started like invented in mexico it's one of the like, as Mexican foods are spicy, this is also one of the spiciest food. It uh, comes in veg, non veg, obviously. I wait, I have asked you time to go. <laughs> wait, wait, time. Uh, so, so, this comes in veg. It's uh, like uh, crispy uh, with the uh, inner, uh, uh, in, uh, it's uh, crispy also, but uh, inner, it's uh, very moist and with, with, uh, filled with. Uh, Filling, uh, fillings, toppings, and what say I can say? Yeah, I recently discovered this food and I liked it when I had uh, tried in Pune itself. As I like, we Indians we love uh, spicy food, and so we can't like stop us from eating any spicy food. Like we Maharashtra loves misal and everything. So similar, this one is one of the spicy uh, spices food. Uh, the outer, like outer layer, is a crispy one, and inner one is filled with the uh, toppings, as similar to burger and other uh, toppings. So, okay, fine. The, like I like to ask oh, forum, what is the food? It was tacos. It was tacos. <laughs> yes, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the successful uh, speech. So, Yes. Okay. So, uh, Toastmaster, again, you have uh, four pictures in front of your screen, and you have to use those four pictures. Either you can make a story out of it, or maybe describe them. The choice is up to you. So, over to you. Hmm. All right. Uh, Toastmaster Rabin, it's. Yes, uh, yeah, sorry. Over to you, Toastmaster Rabin. Uh, there are four pictures in front of the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that is I your topic. You, you. That is your table yeah. topic. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Uh, uh, President. You, you are not audible. Uh, yes, you are now. Okay. I hope I'm audible now. I'm visible also. Okay. okay. 
president uh, toast master of the day table topic master oh i'm sorry i forgot to mention madam district director fellow toast masters and guests a very good afternoon to all of you one of my favorite pastimes is to watch videos on youtube and i have had this uh, habit i think since probably 10 standard after my 10th board exams uh, i discovered this wonderful website that has so many, so much of great content and it has like years and years of content is being uploaded by the second uh, on this platform and that has been the source of my entertainment and my knowledge for a very long time my entire college time if i had any doubts uh, if the professor was not able to clear it up properly i would do that on youtube i would uh, look for some great channels like you know the sci fi show uh, you know just to name a few and yes of course i am doing that on my laptop and i actually had a samsung laptop back in the day in, and it looked exactly the same with the black keyboard and the uh, you know the silver body then eventually you know how youtube has evolved over the years so people st slowly start putting content like stand up comedy or something like that oh then uh, eventually it uh, moved on to even sports content so i started watching football videos also over there and uh, football analytics also is a subject that really intrigues me but unlike me my friends are watching more of cricket because i'm not much of a cricket fan but when i at my friends place they're always putting on something related to cricket and i watch that i don't mind it and we are all uh, chilling in a living room or is it an office yeah so sometimes we hang out at my friend's office sometimes my friends hang out at my office uh, because we have a big projector uh, screen as well and yes and that's all from me over to the table topic master thank you toastmaster abin and all the speakers that participated in the table topics cheers to all of you and over to you toastmaster amazing wasn't it just to just to go think on your feet get your creative juices flowing right so now because this is a special meeting we won't be having any voting for today we'll straight away move on to our another fun activity which will be taken care by our distinguished toastmaster btm meenal hello everyone now let me ask you all how many of you are fans of kon banega karodpati good to see now along the same similar lines we have a game show over here but the it's there is a twist the name is kon banega toastmaster number 1 <laughs> and here i i won't be calling anyone on the hot seat because that formal thing and everything would take one hour I, and i have been strictly instructed by the tmod that i have to finish within 20 minutes so i'll be making it a bit faster now let me lay down the rules first now here i'll be asking a question i i'll be throwing a question even and uh, here we'll be having only one lifeline and that is ask the expert and the expert would be our president toastmaster abhishek he would be the playing the role of that expert and only one lifeline is allowed and here then i will keep on asking the questions and there in uh, you have to raise the hands if you know the answers and one who raises the hand first and he or she answers it right then he gets a point for that answer but if he or she raises the hand and answers it wrong then obviously the negative marking is not there but he doesn't get a point and then who has raised it second will be asked the question it will be that side um mayuresh every answer will be uh, given one minute and i'll say with the your time starts now and you can calculate it for one minute for nimisha i would enter the responsibility of writing the scores and whoever answers i'll ask the name you can note down and whoever answers the maximum questions would be the first rank holder the 
second largest points will have the second rank holder and third will have the third rank holder it will be that way the prizes are there in that bag after it's done i will ask our area director toastmaster ankur to give away those prizes and if he is the winner i will ask amol to give away the prizes <laughs> it goes this way now let me start with the first question question number 1 goes this way why do toastmasters never feel hungry if you know the answer please raise the hand okay i'm all raised it for the first time help okay i give it to you because the actual answer was because they always raise the toast <laughs> okay um two points for amol uh, namisha please note now this is something for our enthusiastic area director and about her everyone knows she is known by that actually how many photographs or selfies does toast master hesh ma click in a minute yes okay. let me give a hint it's not a numerical answer yes <laughs> the very right the answer is as many stars we have in the galaxy <laughs> this is the answer 2 point for toastmaster ankur now question number 3 who is the poster master of district 125 you just ask him to make the poster and he is there within the next 2 minutes with the poster over here who is that yes aditya has raised the hand tell me yes toast master abhilash he is right now the area director and also he is a part of the district pr team and the moment our uh, distinguished toast master mayank asked him to make the poster he is there within the next minute seven voice voice okay now let me ask you how many of you have heard this poem in your junior kg two little dicky birds sat upon a wall every one of you now along the line of toast masters we have this poem you have to guess who these two birds are of the toast masters just one hint they are from akla bonde two little toast masters sitting up on a fence one is peacock and the other is moon stand tall peacock stand tall moon fly high peacock fly high moon may i know who's who are them yes <laughs> very true <laughs> Toast master Mayur and toast master Chandra Shekhar, because Mayur means peacock, Chandra means moon. That's how it goes. <laughs> Now this is something about our very energetic toast master. She is one of the district officers now, and we call her as a dot dot machine. Let me say something about her first. She went up the hill to fetch plum bills. When she fluffed, got n number of clubs. Who is she? kanchan <laughs> yes two points for ankur now this is again our very energetic toast master I, i would just like to give a hint that he had attended today's meeting as well in the online mode of course i have both the sun and moon under my belt who am i the biggest hint is he has attended today's meeting uh, who said mayank <laughs> two points for aditya and now let me tell you how he has sun and moon because one of his team members is toast master ravi and one of his other members is toast master chandra shekhar ravi means sun chandra means moon <laughs> it is that way now this is for our two veteran toast masters from our club itself and you will always find them together they give exams also together they pass also together they fail also together <laughs> now this is for them ye dosti hum nahi todenge todenge neem bagar btm saath banenge area director saath banenge who are they jn 
yes <laughs> two points for raghavendra <laughs> very good now this is something special aditya please look up the world gets light from one sun but toastmaster club of pune northwest gets it from two suns who are they this is something related to our district officers only just guess i am giving you that hint two suns thing al along that line and if yes aditya is right second ankur does not mean sun no? ravi no he is not uh, a district officer right now two suns one sun you you guessed it right aditya second that does not mean sun <laughs> dinesh yes because the meaning of aditya is sun meaning of dinesh is also sun and dinesh is our area director aditya is our division director so we are looked upon by two suns it is that way so now this i guess something amol will be able to answer this इनकी लाइफ में पहले टोस्ट मास्टर्स आता है फिर उनका डिवीजन आता है और फिर वाइफ आती है कौन है ये दैट इज वन आंसर सेकंड देर आर टू आंसर्स फॉर दिस नो प्रमोद पी बी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नो ही इज वन ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफिसर्स राइट नो Can I give you one more hint? He just got married three months back. So there are two answers for this. Uh, you answered it one day. Right? One point for him and one point for him. I would say. So it's Vinod Sharma and Swapnil, both of them, because their top priority is Toastmasters. Now everyone knows about the story of rabbit and tortoise. and in the end tortoise had one slow and steady wins the race likewise we have a rabbit in our district 125 as well who is he and he has also spoken today in this meeting that is the hint i can give you he is one of our district officers yes rabbit and tortoise and he is the tortoise and also tell why he is the tortoise tell me no milind is not the tortoise he is the i would say cheetah because he became a dtm in 3 years <laughs> no prasad cannot be a tortoise yeah five times dtm <laughs> yeah shall i give you one more hit now he was one of our table topic speakers as well today Robin, and why I am terming him as a tortoise? Because when he completed his traditional paths, at that time he was so slow in it that he could have become a DTM three years back at least. But he lazed over. But now he has filed for DTM, and we can get to hear soon that he will be DTM Robin through pathways. So that this could have been his double DTM, but he lazed over slowly, slowly, slowly. That's why he is a tortoise of District One Twenty Five. Now. this is something about our very very veteran toastmaster and she is someone whom we all of us look up to at least the old toastmasters and new ones will also get to know after i ask this question i am a free bird i always think freely but i always adhere to the rules free focus on the word free who is she Mukta, I have two points for Ankur. Now this is an epic, and I am dead sure everyone will be able to answer this question. कितने कम speeches देते हो? Sharma ji के बेटे को देखो, छः साल में सत्तर से ज़्यादा speeches दे चुके हैं. Who is that? <laughs> Sharma ji. <laughs> he is Vinod Sharma because by traditional path we had to give forty speeches, and he is already a DTM. and by pathways also he has completed his two paths wherein it consists of 30 speeches one path consists of 15 speeches so 40 plus 30 gives 70 so 
so we are proud to have one such sharma ji in our in our club actually that is the thing and here before i end it uh, and before the score master actually calculates who has scored the highest yeah then i'll just uh, clarify over here that whosoever people have mentioned over here or their personality traits there were two objectives behind it one was to apprise you people about the senior toastmasters that by which traits are they known and secondly their written permissions have been sought i have actually asked them whether we can do this or not so no one is going to get offended with that so let's have the score card first hmm okay okay so 754 is that the score okay uh in that case uh, i would like to call upon our toastmaster of the day itself to give away the prize just give it here remove that Uh, who is the third rank holder adityan amol and aditya okay i would request both of you to come on the stage now do just one thing you stand in between and let them catch <laughs> and someone take the photograph <laughs> so they are the third rank holders you stand this side you stand this side share the chocolate eh? because i didn't know there would be a tie <laughs> okay congrats both uh, who is the second rank holder okay both of them okay mm this we can keep them uh now the first rank holder is toastmaster ankur i would request him to come to the stage let him give it okay okay that was all from my side and i hope that you have got to know the personality traits of all our senior toastmasters now and you can also remember them well now whenever you have to address them or whenever you have to get something done from them that would be the best part with this i hand over the control back to the toastmaster thank you thank you dtm meenal for that lovely session now it's time for evaluation it's always good to have what we have good ha have a report on what we have done right and what we have not done right so to have that report we have our role players who will be presenting their reports first on i will call upon our our counter of the day toastmaster rohan to present his report good afternoon everyone so flawless speaker into his for today's meeting is uh, dtm minel and uh, tm nikhil so let us have a big round of applause for all the flawless speaker for today so it's time now for the counts of us anish uh, two times and one time so one time a uh, tejas one time so one time you know mayuresh uh, one time so two times a uh. tulsi two times a uh. nimisha one time so uh. thank you it's over to deep one now let's see upon how we did in the language section to present his report i call upon the grammarian of the day toastmaster mayuresh
thank you so much of the day so first of all i would like to thank you all the speakers who have spoken today it was an excellent session as regarding our meeting as well and also with the respect of grammar as well because when i would like to comment on the poor usage of language there was none so excellent job everybody and there were a lot of good usage of language and for which uh, the words will be very less to express them as far as the word of the day and phrase of the day goes the word of the day was used by post master of the day post master anish in his inaugural speech itself and then it was used by our only speaker for today post master chandra that is my brief grammar and report for today an excellent job overall so over to you post master of the day post master anish thank you now let's see how we did on the all sections of the meeting to present his general report on the meeting i call upon toastmaster tej to present his general evaluator report over to you toastmaster tej good afternoon everyone present in the meeting the mr Pre good evening mr president distinguished toastmasters fellow toastmasters and my dear guests i tej sharma will be the will be presenting my gen general evaluator's report so the first person that started the meeting was the sergeant at arms toastmaster nilesh he explained the rules and stated the mis mission of the club he took the guests introduction and i think in the physical room he might have taken the votes and the meeting in information was clearly written on the uh, blackboard properly and he his energy was so high that it set the tone for the meeting and it it also showed that like how auspicious the 400 meeting is the only recommendation that i have is is to start the meeting on time because because the technical glitches there was a delay of one or two minutes the next person that was speaking was to uh, the toastmaster of the day toastmaster anish the agenda was on time and my only recommendation for the agenda is uh, you can since there were two groups in the in the whatsapp in, on whatsapp i would request the or tmod to publish the agendas on both the groups uh, on friday as well as on saturday so that there is no confusion on the whatsapp groups and i also felt that the uh, the uh, there was a proper introduction done for all the role, role players and your energy was also high during the meeting only rec another recommendation would be that we can work we can work on the meeting progress as some aspects in the agenda was not in sync for example uh, during the uh, during prasad sir's uh, keynote speech the timings were different for that and now i move on to the president's uh, address uh, toastmaster abhishek he connected with the audience and also his address was short warm and it was related to the theme and he also spoke about what tmc tmcp north west has done and what are the achievements of this club in his short speech then i move on to the tag team uh, the timer to master tulsi she showed the cards properly and she held the cards for at least 30 seconds so that everybody in the offline mode and the online mode can see the cards properly and she also timed the speakers also properly and now i move on to the grammarian to to toastmaster mayuresh the word of the day and idiom of the day were easy to use and he explained the word of the day and idiom of the day by using two examples for each section and also uh, you explained the rule of the thumbs up rule in which uh, i could see that the uh, offline members were showing the thumbs up when the when a speaker was using the word of the day and item of the day and i also felt that the re report was crisp crisp and to the point and also he applauded the speakers who had used the word of the day and item of the day so no uh, recommendations from my side now i move on to the a counter toastmaster rohan the filler words were noted properly and also felt that the report was crisp he also explained his role in the beginning and also and also the flawless speakers were applauded and mentioned 
and also the uh, rule in which you if someone is using a filler word and if it is more than five times then you say five plus times so that was also noted uh, table topic master to us person nimisha she explained her role and rules also very well to the audience the topics were interesting and it was easy and it was relevant also and she was confident and energetic during her session she also called up uh, distinguished toastmasters toastmasters and some guests also to participate so no you know recommendation from my side now i move on to the speech evaluator distinguished toastmaster meenal she used this yes yes approach which is the commendations recommendations and commendations and which is also known as the sandwich approach and i also felt that when she was using this approach the commendation and recommendations quite appropriate for the speaker and also she was encouraging and also as at the same time critical about the speaker now talking about how the room was i i think because i am online i don't i cannot see the banner or standy and lectern but i hope that the banner standy and lectern are in place and the blackboard is updated with the meeting information also and also i would like to talk about the agenda of the meeting the names of the of the role players were correct were correct only thing that i have a recommendation is the titles of the toastmasters because in some of the uh, like so, some of the role players they might have at least completed at least one or two levels so their title should be mentioned in the agenda and the word of the day and idiom of the day were mentioned with the other information about the venue and the online uh, like zoom ids and everything so that was mentioned in the agenda and other than this i felt that the meeting was great and also i would like to congratulate tmcp northwest for for this milestone meet over to you to us master of the day Thank you, Toastmaster Page, for your crisp report. Now, before we move on to closing our today's meeting, I would like to hear from guests how they felt about today's meeting. Anyone would like to volunteer and let us know their thoughts about today's meeting? Sure. I'm Toastmaster Kamal from TMCP West. The meeting was very fabulous. I enjoyed a lot. It was totally according to my favor. Everything, all the, today the game session kept me a very wonderful time. A lifelong, I won't forget this time of a of a session of a Cadbury Dairy Milk. It was totally according to me the the way how I expected how it it kept me joy a lot. It was totally according to my way of happiness. Thank you so much for inviting me to my first meeting. thank you for your kind words we'll definitely try to uh, maintain our bar which we have set for ourselves now i would like to hear from our special guest uh, to distinguished toastmaster amul to share his thoughts on our today's meeting hi uh, good afternoon everyone uh, there was one daughter is which she spoke about i am the other one i am not a distinguished toastmaster yet <laughs> so and uh, even uh, incidentally myself and rabin we joined almost at the same time but uh, this has been a great journey 2015 is when we chartered and uh, we have one of our sponsors in this meeting uh, dtm prasad soni and uh, distinguished toastmaster umesh agashe being the second sponsor of the club i would uh, like to acknowledge both of them uh, in sponsoring this club and the two mentors of our club uh, distinguished toastmaster veena and uh, distinguished toastmaster himang so they were the spo sponsors and the mentors of this club who started and i being the charter member and second charter member we know if uh, he is still there in the meeting and uh, some old members also i see niket rana always comes back Uh, to milestone meetings just like me i do so and uh, mayur again mayur is here so uh, i been uh, mia for some some time do a uh, member for last 6 months and i have taken a break for two and a half years but uh, a member again of uh, this august club 
would like to be more regular uh, rather like not just between 50 meetings apart maybe a couple of meetings in a month at least i would uh, endeavor to attend and i would love to feel the energy that has been the mark of toastmasters club of pune northwest the club culture the quality meetings and uh, the culture of excellence that we started in this club right from the first meeting so we would like again like uh, dtm prasad also spoke this is what has brought our club till here and it will again take us forward these are the three basic ingredients of any toastmasters club or any toastmasters meeting or any toastmaster should, should uh, take these forward that is club culture quality meetings and a culture of excellence and i wish all of you the best all members and all guests the best uh, and greetings to all of us on the 400 my many many such more meetings maybe what 10000 yes thank you and congratulations and best wishes our president's address let's go to toastmaster abhishek for his address over to you toastmaster thank you so much toastmaster day and thank you everyone uh, this meeting was very uh, nice we are not able to hear you toastmaster abhishek you are not audible okay uh, am i audible to online attendance yeah yeah now it's audible okay now it's audible great okay thank you so much everyone and the meeting this was amazing uh, the energy and the event were amazing yeah. and i am glad that we have so many of our leaders and senior members with us uh, listening to them was great not only just for individual member for the club as a whole it will definitely help us to grow to be a better club and uh, flourish the toastmasters or district itself thank you so much everyone now there are a few announcements from my side uh, first is regarding the contest as the contest is coming up uh, i request everyone to gear up there will be two contests humorous speech contest and evaluation contest so you can start writing your humorous speech for our contest and also you can give more evaluations to our speaker in regular meeting or any other meetings as well uh, so that will help every one of us so let us gear up and try our best in our next contest for humorous speech contest and evaluation contest another announcement is that uh, the newsletter uh, newsletter team is working hard on writing the uh, creating its newsletter so i request everyone you can share articles, you can write a poem, you can share games and anything that you want uh, to publish in our newsletter. So this is one announcement. Other than that, there are a few awards that I would like to share. Okay, I hope everyone is able to see my screen. Yes, uh, we can see your screen. Okay, so our club has received the Distinguished Club Award so in the program year 2021 to 2022. And there are a few members, they work relentlessly to make it success. So we want to recognize those members. And this is from the, uh, on the behalf of Toastmaster International, Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest is going to deliver this certificate. The first is for Toastmaster Jai Singh. Toastmaster Jai Singh has worked a lot hard and not only he he's just uh, being a member, he has put effort. He has leaded the club. He has given suggestions and his recommendation were really nice. And at the same time, he has helped the club overall. So thank you so much Toastmaster Jai Singh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next is our area director, Toastmaster Ankur, Ankur, and thank you so much for being with us. You, your presence and your support has really helped the club grow. Thank you so much. Next is Toastmaster Swati. Toastmaster Swati was the president uh, in the two term back, and she worked hard, uh, and she has completed the challenges, the goals. And uh, this achievement uh, led us to this stage. So thank you so much, Dr. Swati.
Next is Toastmaster Pradeep. Toastmaster Pradeep has uh, worked on his goals, his response, he has uh, completed his response piece successfully, and this has helped the club a lot. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Pradeep. And finally, our veteran, our Bhishma uh, Pitamah of the club, DTM Vinod Sarma, he is always there with us. Any questions, any doubt you have, he is always there to help and guide the club. So thank you so much to sponsor Vinod Sarma, although he is uh, many of our members is not present in this meeting right now. We'll share in the group. Thank you so much. Next is Toastmaster Insia, who was the VP Education for previous term. And uh, as a VP Education, it is really, VP Education is really important because they encourage every member. And the growth of member and uh, the success, I think one of the, the credit also goes to Toastmaster Insia. So thank you so much, Toastmaster Insia. And next is our immediate past president, distinguished Toastmaster Minal. As we all know, she walks in every single challenge and she makes it success. So thank you so much, Distinguished Toastmaster Minal. And I would also request you to come on the stage. Uh, thanks, Toastmaster Abhishek, for recognizing those efforts. Now, for the benefit of guests, let me explain what was this all about. The Toastmaster year starts from July to June. I mean, it starts from July in that particular year and ends in June next year. So this was for the Toastmaster year 2021-2022. And this award comes directly from the Toastmaster International as to which members contributed towards making the club a president's distinguished club, which means we have to uh, get 10 points and of which within the, I mean, with the start of this year, it said the club has achieved six points that we'll be getting in the next year. But this was for the last year that which members contributed towards it. So the six have been announced by Abhishek. The rest, rest six I'll announce. We can have the next slide. Okay. This goes to our very own Zoom master, Mayur. And the speciality about Mayur is that he is the best Zoom master in the entire district because whenever we have any contest, the first person that comes to the mind is Mayur. So that is the thing. And in this term, he's serving us as a VP membership. We are proud to say that in the last nine weeks, he has added 10 new members to the club. So keep up the momentum, Mayur. Let's have the next slide. This is for Abhishek because we see him now as a president, but he was there in the last year, in the first term as a VP membership. And in the next term, whenever we called him up, we need your help. He was always there to help us because there are some people who work great behind the scenes. He is amongst them. So kudos. This is our own Toastmaster Amol. Now, Regarding him, let me tell you that when we have some veteran in the family, we don't get to see the veteran every time, but he is there to ask, is this going proper? Is this going well? And the moment the person takes over as an ex -com, the first person to call that person is Amol. Every, every time he is there to guide us with whichever conflict management we need to do. Because the moment I took over as the president or even in last term when Swati took over as the president, the first person to call them was he and he said it. For which points are you going to work on? Tell us and the, if you need my help at any point of time, I am there to help you. And I have nicknamed it as the MS Dhoni of TMCP Northwest. Reason being, when we had our membership campaign and we were falling short of one member, he was the person to renew first. He said, okay, finish it off so you don't have to be tensed. So finisher, that is MS Dhoni. He is the finisher. This is our magician, Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar. And he is the first.
person who is always there to help in fact uh, i had nicknamed him as lokmanya tilak of the club actually reason means he always practices the this dictum being a toastmaster is my right and i am going to have it <laughs> just check his status every single day he will be attending the meeting in some other other club every time every time so he has done an excellent job as vp education in the last to last term and in the last term as a treasurer so we got both the awards from district 98 that that was transparency in treasury and excellence in education kudos to chandrashekar can have the next this is our toastmaster venkatesh he was also the education contributor in the last toastmaster year now he is serving as the area director and regard in marathi we have a saying kana magun ali tikhat zali which actually means he came he saw he conquered and that applies for toastmaster venkatesh he is also serving us relentlessly are we done thank you thank you thank you ttm minal thank you so much ttm minal and thank you so much everyone uh, for being here and uh, your gesture your work has really helped the club a lot to grow thank you so much and okay, now, now we have, we have a surprise element here that we are announcing the yeah we are announcing the toastmaster of the month for the month of july and that goes to our ever energetic toastmaster arshutosh <laughs> thank you toastmaster ashutosh keep up the momentum and uh, as an ipp i thank all the district officers for making it for today's event also in the online mode as well as the offline mode in the online mode if i forgot to thank someone i really apologize and i would like to thank them again like toastmaster rabin then toastmaster heshma then uh, we also had nagappan sir he is another veteran to the toastmasters community i would say since but working relentlessly nagappan sir he had some other commitments till he came up and also the people who made it today in spite of being a sunday and in spite of we awaiting the ganesh festival 3 days hour later still everyone made it so i thank them and uh, before passing on the control to the president i would like to invite our district officer toastmaster ankur as a tradition to felicitate the district officers this is from me yeah and i would also like to thank our own area director toastmaster dinesh because he was in the traveling mode today so his internet connection was switching on and off that's why he made sure to send us a congratulatory message on the group so i would like to extend my thanks to him as well and i would like to pass the control to ankur for his speech thank you so much dtm minal first of all hearty congratulations everyone to people present in offline and online mode secondly hearty congratulations to everyone who made it from the right from the beginning till the 400 meeting trust me in my 8 years of toastmaster journey this is a very rare moment that comes to very few of the clubs in the world right 400 meeting is a very long journey and a proud one indeed right they, this is a contribution of so many people indeed who have been with us in the beginning and who are with us uh, till date it's a contribution of all the district leaders but most of all it's a contribution of members like you right each and every role that we play in a meeting be it timer or our counter grammar and it sounds very small but remember each of these roles are contributing to a big success of the club because of those roles roles played by some of the other toastmasters we are now a founded meeting old club and this goes to all of you right so just uh, my message would be consider this as a journey of start right consider this as a start we are miles to go and consider each role as a attribution that you are paying to the district paying to toastmasters international paying to the society consider each role as a very big step in another milestone to come be it 500 or 1000 definitely 
right so my best wishes to all of you enjoy this toast master journey and thank you so much for the generous offer thank you so much. thank you area director toastmaster ankur now with this i pass on the control back to our president for his remarks over to you abhishek uh thank you so much distinguished toastmaster minal and uh, i really thank everyone uh, toastmaster btm minal uh, mayuresh toastmaster mayur uh, chandrasekhar uh, santonu i mean uh, if i uh, start calling the name i think all the members this worked really hard to make this success and they always set higher goals even for the milestone meeting they said that let's do this thing let's uh, try a different uh, let's do this example so this is really appreciable for all of them thank you so much everyone and also i would like to appreciate all our area director district officials our members and guests for being here with us and making this meeting and our toastmaster journey a success thank you so much everyone with that i finally adjourn today's meeting uh, but let us stay for a while and let's take a group photograph so i would request everyone to please turn on your camera in the physical meeting can someone support me uh toastmaster abhishek your voice is breaking uh thank Hello? you for your address uh we uh, we are having some network uh, issues over here toastmaster so let us have a group photograph yeah group photo yes let's let's ga gather everyone let's uh, switch on our cameras for people who are on the online mode and for people who are on the offline mode we will uh will gather together to click a picture yes uh, the meeting is done and let us have the cake cutting ceremony and then we can have any other chit chat if want any one want to mention anything take the photograph of the cake as well